Welcome back once again to SmackDown vs. Raw 2008. And if you guys remember in the last episode, um, well, the last set of episodes, I finally drafted, got the, myself drafted over to SmackDown. I jumped ship to get away from repeat storylines. And what did I walk into? I walked into the same ECW Invasion storyline that I've already had two or three times. So, I mean... It was kind of shenanigans and it was bo and it was bogus, but uh, I'll put up with it because I should be getting new uh, storylines soon. And also, there will be different people involved since there will be the SmackDown superstars involved as well in this ECW invasion uh, comparative to the same Raw guy. So I mean, at least it will be a little bit different, but still not much. Yeah, and I don't need to read this as I have literally already read that twice now. Playa, time to feast your brain. I hope this ECW nonsense is behind us and we can get down to business. Namely, figuring out SmackDown's no mercy plans. You've always been my go to guy to deliver big at pay per views. And that's exactly what I'm expecting from you this time, player. Yep. I'll, I'll, I'll take on anybody. It doesn't really matter to me. Batista wants a shot. Give Batista a shot. If Kane wants a shot, give Kane a shot. If Undertaker wants a shot, give Taker a shot. I'm at the top of the Power 25. I'm happy to tell you that you just captured the number one slot on the Power 25. Player, this just proves you're on the right path. The path to legend status. Alright, thank you, Teddy. Thank you for that insightful input on letting me know that I am once again at the top of the power 25 what about what's going on here nothing and now let me do I completely forgot to do training exercises on Monday I completely forgot I just simulated to the next day um, anywho actually let me check cause I heard I, the, the magazine over here said something about an injury so does that mean I'm injured? Because if so, uh, I have enough so I can do one or two training exercises. Let me get the get the durability up there. Simulate the training, of course. Now we got some new stuff going on. We got the magazine. Quit playing around, says Rival Superstar. Oh, it's the Undertaker. At least one person hasn't been impressed with Edge's extreme behavior as of late. His SmackDown rival, The Undertaker. The Phenom criticizes Edge for his recent escapades with member ECW instead of focusing on SmackDown business. Of course, The Undertaker is one of the top contenders. I don't like it. No mercy is fast approaching. Yet Edge would rather play around with those garbage wrestlers from ECW, says Undertaker. This guy doesn't deserve to be a champion. I think I'll make it my mission to take the World Heavyweight Championship from him myself. Undertaker. You're not taking shit from me. Feel that heat? Man, did Undertaker smoke you with his interview on WWE.com? Player, as SmackDown GM, it's my job to turn that drama into smart business. So I'm putting you in a non-title tag team match, oh, just non-title match, against the dead man later this week. It'll be a good opportunity to see how things may work as a title match on down the line. Go get him, because you're going one-on-one -on -one with The Undertaker. Uh, I'll do a strength exercise, simulate the training, like usual. Got some more magazines to read. Now, what is this one? Each set of you alpha respect on SmackDown. Now, this is the same exact thing that was on the Raw, except SmackDown, except the Raw is replaced with the word of SmackDown. So, I mean, it's not that big of a difference. Anyway, Undertaker. That did not sound like The Undertaker. Let me listen to that again. That does not sound like The Undertaker at all. That, that does not sound like Undertaker's voice. If that is The Undertaker, I'm surprised because that does not. No, it just does not. I'm squashing this ECW beef once for all. But team, it's going to be a tag team match. You and The Undertaker against two of their top guys. 
I know you and take out your own issues to work out, but put that on the greater good player. Besides, it'll give you a good opportunity to further scout each other in the ring. Later, T-Low. I'm going to do a stamina. Simulate the training. It's going to be a tag team match, player. Yep. It's the same exact match that I had on Raw a little while back, except they replaced Undertaker with, uh, I mean, except they replaced Randy Orton with Undertaker since it's on Raw. But it's the same exact match. Hardcore rules and everything. There's literally no difference in the storyline and anything about the match. Except, you know, like I just said. Undertaker. Instead of Randy Orton, it's Undertaker. Welcome to Smack oh, that water's warm. Oh man, I don't like warm water. I mean, it's not warm, but it's not cold as it was like an hour or two ago. Come on. He nearly injured one of SmackDown superstars last week. I think he's here to finish the job tonight. He's living in a dream world. Do you think SmackDown superstars are going to stand by and let him do that? Well, he's living in a dream world, then. You heard it straight from the re the wrestling god, JBL. This man is no stranger to raining down violence upon his opponents. Well, I guess tonight we're going to see if he can take it as well as he can dish it. secret of his desire to be named the number one contender for a championship match at no mercy and ironically teaming up with the current champion this match might be the thing that does it yep and we got one more brief entrance you think you after last week's near injury he's more determined than ever to prove himself against ECW <laughs> Yeah, but with no mercy right around the corner, oh. that might not be the I don't get to spin a title anymore. I don't like having the World Heavyweight title. I can't spin anything on it. And Michael Cole, when you said I'm uh, proving myself against EC, I've already proved myself against ECW like four or five times now. Just look at some previous episodes. I've proved myself against ECW plenty of times to where it's irrelevant. Because even if they do beat me once irrelevant because I've already you know proved myself three four times against them so you know it'd be a fluke victory well everybody wants a weapon like literally every they all left the ring right as it started Undertaker even wanted a weapon we got a sledgehammer war going on I got a finisher. Wow, I didn't even realize that. Let me pick Sandman up so I can use it. Execution! One, two. Oh, I'm arguing with the ref. No, I'm not actually because... Oh, I guess I did. I didn't even... Hit Y, my hand wasn't even off the controller. Let me grab this sledgehammer. Oh, damn it! Let me get up! Ooh! My kneecap, you do... Sandman, you do realize, you know, I'm still a human being. You can't just whack me with sledgehammers like that. Yep, the barbed wire. What an impact. That's going to do some damage. You're damn right it will. Oh, that's gotta hurt like crazy. Execution on the oh execution on the floor got cancelled out. There's the 
by the homicidal, suicidal, genocidal Sabu. Over the barricade. He kind of kicked that guy in the front row. And now we see it paying off. Get up, Sabs. Oh my. That's, going to That's my new nickname for Sabu. Sabs. Sabs. Is he going to get up? I think he's like dead. Oh, he's not dead. Not yet, at least. He will be now. After the education. Onto this. Hard floor meeting. There's paddings out there, but we all know they're not very thick. One, two, three. Sandman and Sabu have been taken out. Even though Undertaker's taken out in the ring, they have still been defeated once again. Am I going to have to take Sandman on one-on-one -on -one in a tables match soon? I know what I call it? I call it repeat storylines that I don't want to play over and over again, so get me the fuck out of it. That's what I call it. Alright. When we come back, we'll take a look at this phone message in this magazine over here, and hopefully we'll be starting to get into a No Mercy storyline and away from this crappy... ECW Invasion storyline for the 15th fucking time. 